Hello, my name is Ryan Benderlich from Junior Achievement of Delaware, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can log into the JA Learning Management System, also known as JA Connect or Cross Knowledge. Go ahead and open up a web browser. I recommend Google Chrome and type in learn.ja.org. Our system will then bring you to this login screen. This will be the same for you and for students if you end up enrolling your students into the course. For the very first time, you'll go ahead and click on this forgot password. You'll enter your email address here and click reset password. It'll send you an automatic email with a link to follow, which will then bring you back in here but it'll have ask you to set up your own password. If you ever forget your password or can't remember it or whatever, follow that same process in order to reset your password. You'll do that with the email that I use to register you for your course. We'll go ahead and enter your information in here like I am doing. If you wanna say, remember me, click that and click log in. It will then bring you to this next page. Just go ahead and make sure all of these things are selected and click yes, allow. It usually we'll still ask for that information every time you log in. And then our system is experiencing a few delays um, during the process between clicking login right there and loading up the main homepage. So please give it some time. If for some reason you get a page did not load, go ahead and come up here to your browser. And it, you know, if the page didn't load, this would change to a refresh button. You would click that and usually it will sync up immediately. It may ask you to confirm submission on the web page again and just click continue or okay. And it will then bring you back into our main home page. I have seen it take up to almost a minute. So please be patient. Our developers are working on a uh, solution, a true fix to this problem soon. But once we do log in and it gets us to that home page, I'll go ahead and kind of click around and show you all the different areas that you'll need to be aware of and how you'll access the curriculum and the course. And then there are videos inside of this uh, learning management system that do actually walk you through accessing the materials and everything like that. All right, we finally made it here. So I'm gonna click, I agree for the uh, cookies thing. And then right here are all of the information. You won't have as much as I have here, but your information will be displayed just as my links are here. Of course, you can see some of my company programs down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on one and get started just to kind of give you guys a good sense of what you'll be seeing on your end. And like I said, this is much quicker and it kind of loads up um, the way you would hope it will. Um, you can use, of course, the next buttons here, but of course, over here on the left-hand side is what we call the bookend. And on the bookend, you have drawers, which you can open and close. They also have little monitor uh, areas or whatever you want to call them, that tracks your progress. So as you go through each section and you check out each thing, it will actually open up each drawer. And then it will also tell you once you've completed all of the components within that drawer. Um, inside of each drawer, you will find documents to download. As you see here on all of these other than editorial, and I'll show you what that is in a second. However, if we just go ahead and check out pre-programmed survey, here's where it's a website uh, link. And then of course, meeting one has the final um, other option, which would be an interactive learning resource. Now the difference between something that is a download, which is what we have up here is the guide for teachers and volunteers and a interactive learning resource just means a download is a document Word or PDF that you can download. It is fillable. Um, so if it's a Word document, you'll be able to type on it. If it's a PDF, you'll also be able to type on it and save your information. If it's an interactive learning resource, 
and I'll just show you what that is in a second, it will actually just go ahead and bring up information here in the middle. So I'll click on this 1.1 to show you what it is. If I click this play button, it will launch the resource right here. There will be a couple of toggle buttons that you can use. So full screen is here, a uh, slides uh, viewer, which you can hover over top of these and it'll move left and right, which is really nice. It also remembers where you were last at. Okay, so, you know, as you click through, it'll move up here at the top. If you just click on this, it'll make that go away or you can click the little banner. You can also typically use your keyboard to advance slides. And you'll see this little, uh, you know, kind of monitor, so to speak, to show you uh, how far along you are. And of course, if there's more information down below and you can scroll, it'll tell you to keep doing that. Um, but of course, that monitor will tell you how far along you've gone in addition to the one over here. And then, you know, if you, for instance, went to the document and then back into this meeting 1.1, what's really great about it is when I click play, it's actually going to load up that very last screen we were on at 63% instead of starting you back over. So it keeps you exactly where you need to be um, so that whenever you're, you know, a class ends and you need to remember where you left off. I would just recommend, you know, closing down your browser or closing the tab at least, um, and it will remember everything uh, where you were at, or just at least move on and then know I need to come back to the 1.1 interactive learning resource. Um, that's a pretty quick tutorial. Of course, there are lots of drawers, lots of resources. Um, the only difference, for instance, for a document to download, um, for example, is that once you click on that, it's always going to open up a new tab. It's going to open up that document here so you can preview it, look at it, um, check it out. I will say, though, until you download these documents and open them up in Adobe Acrobat, typically you cannot type on and save that information. So um, I would always recommend downloading the document and then actually opening, up, opening it up outside of uh, your Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using. Um, in this instance, my save here is slow. As you can see, it wants to save it as Adobe Acrobat document. Um, Adobe uh, Reader is a free program online. You can go and download it. I really recommend it. You know, pick a location, click save, and then open it up. And, you know, that's how you would view those items. Um, but that's kind of a quick tutorial. Once you close out of that, it will bring you right back to the tab you were on which is where you will uh, continue, you know, checking things out. Um, that's pretty much where all of the resources are. You might find a few additional pieces of information out here. Um, there is some, you know, demos or other information you might want to check out. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you so much. Bye now.